Okay, let's go over to the black charts. How do we trade the black charts? Okay, what I said when I got on the mic, I said we're into a number one short coming up. All right, got on the mic, and I said we're looking for a number one possible short. That's out of the way. So here I jumped on. I said we're right into it. I said look for a pull-in bar, and how do you do it? When the moving averages are down, when you first log in, there's volume and price we trade off of. And I said look for a number one short off volume profile. There it is. When it comes within two ticks, maximum three ticks of the red plus signs, which is a high value area, you look for a pull-in bar over on the three Simrenko. You've got to pull yourself in below the doji or spinning top, and you have a maximum 15 tick stop on this trade. So 615, 6015 was the sell on the first test of volume profile because that had a confluence. Okay? So that's the trade we got on this morning. That's how we do the black charts. If we're in a downtrend, sell the first test of HVA, whether it be volume or price. <clears throat> if, you're, if the moving average is an uptrend, you'd be buying the green. We do not buy the green if we're in a downtrend. This is not a buy. That's for novice traders that have no clue about how to trade market profile. We're smarter than that. We know if the moving averages are down, we do not buy green. We sell red on the first test. We'll let green break, let green retest, and look for a continuation number three is what we'll do. All right? So that's profile. We got profile worked out great. The number one worked out great for us this morning. We go to the bottom right under documents. Um, you can see over here on the bottom left, we got volume was right there and price profile is right up at 73.80. If we would have got up there within two ticks with the pulling bar, we would have took that one if it would have blew through our volume without it pulling us in. But it pulled us in, so that's why the market responded. I always get the question, which one should I take, volume or price? Whichever one comes first with the pulling bar off the three Simrenko. All right, doesn't matter. If they're within 10 ticks of each other, take the one that is the outer edge. If these are within 10 ticks, obviously 60, 60, 15 is not within 10 ticks of 60, 73. So when it came within two ticks of 60, 15 at 60, 13, obviously with the pull-in bar, you take the trade. We had a big heads up on it, give you a heads up on it, and gave us a nice trade for this morning just like that. All right, then let's go about uh, J signal real quick. J signal. Our best J signal trade, so there's a number one that called the high with the pulling bar. J signals, let me say something to you right now. J signal will always be opposite on number one trade. See how you had a trend change to the upside on J signal? J signal is going to be opposite because number one trades on the black charts are deep retracements. J signal is designed to give you number three trades, which is a break of profile retest on the first retest for continuations. That's the difference between number three and number one. Number ones, I try to get the exact V top or V bottom off the black charts. There's no number ones on the J signal. What J signal does, it looks for a break of HVR LV on your own charts. And then the first retest, which it nailed here for continuation. Never forget that. Your number ones are never going to match up with number threes. With, uh, with, um, I'm sorry, your number ones are never going to match up with J signal. It's typically always going to be the opposite because it's a deep retracement. So I want to do that on the video to make sure you understand that. J signal is simply break through low value, first break, first retest, short. Black charts are, if we're in a downtrend, sell the first test of red, price or volume or hedge. When it comes within two ticks, look for a pull-in bar. A pull-in bar simply, I'll go over what, what a pull-in bar is. A pull-in bar is simply this. I got two candles that pop up, a doji or spinning top on my Renko bar. There's a, there's a doji. A pull-in bar is simply, when I come within two ticks of these profiles over here on the first test, I'll draw a low of the doji or, or the spinning top. And when you get a body candle close below that, a body candle close, that's your exact pulling bar right there would be the short right here against the profile. There's your exact short with a 15 tick stop. So this would be your place to uh, sell your, uh, I mean, do uh, sell the bid right there. Sell the bid right when you close below. Wicks don't count. It's got to be the body of the candle close. That's a pulling bar below the Doji. That's how we trade out the black charts. Remember, the black charts will only have two setups. A number one, which is a deep retracement called the high here. And then number three is a break of LVA and downtrend retest of LVA with a pull-in bar. That also is a trade setup. All right. Secondly, let me review. If you go to our website, www.daytradingthefutures.com, I set up the trades yesterday for you on, on how to trade them. There's a one, two, three pattern. 
Go review that video. Let me show you what they did. Review that video yesterday and the day before of daytradingthefutures.com. Play the 618 video, the 617 video. And we were doing these videos when this was happening on how to trade these 1, 2, 3 patterns at session highs, session lows. Well, let me show you what the first one did yesterday. The first one was a $1,000 trade. I said my target on the video right here. When I was doing the video, and I mentioned it here. I said the target was all the way down to 13, nailed the low. I'll show you how I did it, play the video back. I want to show you what happened afterwards, all the way down. Day before, we had a 1, 2, 3 pattern. I did a video right here when this was happening. Look at the, look what happened on the 1, 2, 3 pattern on the day before also. $2,000 move. All right, so I want to show you because the potential in these trades are huge. You know, when I do these videos, we're in the formation of what's happening right now. But I want to show you after the, afterward what the potential is on these things. They're huge. One, two, three pattern at session highs or session lows. Big one. Another big one yesterday. So please review those videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. Really big trade setups so you can understand what's going on. All right. So very simple on J signal. J signal, very simple. We look for we look for A B, I mean uh, a number three pattern. There's only one setup we look for. Breaking L V A, retesting L V A, breaking H V A, retesting H V A. And then uh, the black charts are very simple. If you're in a downtrend, you don't buy LVA. You saw the first test of high value area with the pulling bar. Just like I mentioned to you before it happened this morning. All right, good job today. We did it again today, guys. Been having a hell of a week. Remember, these setups have been working for 30 years off a of profile. In my opinion, nothing beats market profile if you know how to trade it.